you are live. Good morning, Mojave County. This is Jansen Viegas, and I'm here with the lovely Tushara Elias. Hello. This is Jansen's show, and uh, today we are talking about the Slabarama, the seventh annual Slabarama, all introduced to our community by yours truly. Tell us a little bit about it. <laughs> so um, Slabarama is a Kansas City barbecue sanctioned event that we have here in Mojave County and in Bullhead City. Um, we've been doing it for seven years, but actually eight we did miss last year. Um, we have teams coming from all over the country to come and compete for prizes. Um, we also have judges coming from all over the country to also compete. For we have a team outside of the country coming in as well, right? Uh, yeah, Frozen Took was planned to come in for the event, but due to COVID, they're choosing not to cross the border. Makes but, sense. I mean, we have so many teams from outside of the state of Arizona. We have them coming from California, La, um, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, Texas, That's all crazy. over, Missouri, <laughs> all over. <laughs> That's awesome. So when you first started this whole um, thing, did you expect it to get as big as it, as it is? You said that you started with 23 teams and it doubled and tripled and now you have to tell teams that you can't take no more? Yeah, um, I never anticipated that it would ever be this big, but I think through word of, word of mouth and, and our Rotary Club who actually puts on the event, we just have a really organized event and people are attracted to it. We have a very solid prize fund uh, for the teams to win. We also try to give opportunities to the team to um, compete in different other categories, such as optional categories of appetizers, desserts, cook's choice, and sausage, as well as a steak competition, um, to give them an opportunity to win prizes. Um, takes a lot to come down here from different right. states and, and haul your equipment and haul your smokers and, 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 and then cook and then cook prep. and prep and buy meat. So we really want to make it worth their while when we put on this event. That's awesome. And then you got, it's very family oriented, right? You said you have an actual, like for kids, they have their own competition as well. Absolutely. We did the intent when we did this is to make it a family oriented event. And so we do have a kids Q competition. Um, it's open to anybody who wants to compete between the ages of five and 17. Oh. Um, the Sunrise Rotary Club is helping us with that event. It's also sponsored by Green Mountain Grills and Green Mountain Grills is donating to the overall winner, a Davy Crockett Wi-Fi Ooh. grill. So it's, it's a sanctioned event event and, and a nationally sponsored event. We, it is going to be sanctioned by the Kansas City Barbecue Society as well. So we will have certified judges and master judges Slabarama. also uh, also um, judging for the kids. And we have some celebrity judges too Ooh. helping out for the kids queue. Kane Brown. But separate and aside from kidding. that, we also have Culver's, who's one of our Golden Hog sponsors. They're going to be down there with Scoopy. They're serving our root beer floats and also Sounds going really to good. be doing Tasty. pretzel bites. Yeah, we also have a wonderful sponsor, Suzy Bounce Houses and Bounce Rentals. They're providing inflatables for the kids to play on um, for two days, Friday and Saturday. Wow. We're going to have uh, four different ones. It's a $5 for an all-day wristband. So there's something for adults to do and something for kids to do as well. And All kinds of fun. Where Where is this going to be at again, and uh, how long is it till? So it's going to be at Rotary Park. It's going to be right on the soccer fields. And um, it's going to be on Friday from 5 to 9 and Saturday from 10 to 5. Ooh. So I know that you have been probably coordinating since probably like November, October, September of last year. Mm -hmm. um, how, uh, how do you feel about barbecue when this event is over? <laughs> I need a little. Well, bit that's of a, a different break. story. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little bit of a break from and, barbecue. Uh, <laughs> and then you mentioned that you have certified judges. Mm -hmm. um, so is that just to like kind of maintain the integrity of the whole thing? It's just you don't have any regular judge on there. You actually have people that are certified to judge. So for um, some for the Kansas City barbecue sanctioned portions of our event, um, the chicken, the pork. Um, the brisket and the ribs. Yes, cool. we do have certified judges and master certified judges, which means that they have been involved in judging competitions for some time. In some instances, judging 
more than 100 competitions across the country. Wow. So for the teams, I think it's really important as one of the first competitions of the year, which is what we are, um, for the teams it's really important to maintain that integrity, which is what kind of pushed us to kind of stop taking <laughs> submissions of teams at yeah. 70 um, because we wanted to make sure that we had enough judges to judge the event. We still are kind of doing this event in the face of COVID. Right. And so every day, everything changes. Um, the kids event, um, even though we do have certified judges for it, like I said, we do have celebrity judges that aren't certified to make it a little bit fun right. as well. The state comp is actually done by judges, is going to be judged by judges who are certified through the state cook-off association as well. What is your favorite event of all of the ones that you guys uh, do? My favorite event is the beer truck and the bloody morning special. <laughs> <laughs> Big surprise. Yeah, that's my favorite event, Sunday that's, morning. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have, um, obviously, our, our beer truck guy is going to be there through Canyon Distribution. Uh, they are also a Golden Hog sponsor. We're also having a Bloody Mary station as well as a margarita station on both Friday and Saturday. We start serving that Bloody Mary's on Saturday at 6 a.m. So, And we'll just keep going until yeah, we run until out. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's super cool. It sounds like a really, really, really fun event. I'm surprised that I – I mean, I know I've, I've walked around, but I haven't actually uh, – tried the barbecue yet? yeah and it's like that? i know i'm missing out i saw all the pictures and you know uh, they have a web page and they have a bunch of uh, testimonials and you know they have like a portfolio of how every other event in the past has gone so i definitely encourage you guys visit the website see what they're all about it's an annual thing and um, it's super cool i mean i i dig it a lot outside of uh you know doing this amazing event what what else do you like to do uh here locally i'm sure that you're participating in a lot of other things yeah um i'm a i'm a lawyer <laughs> oh, ooh, that's Sick. good to know <laughs> that's it let me get that business <laughs> that's card that's my though. job is i'm a lawyer but i also volunteer as a court appointed special advocate that's a casa um we have casas here in Mojave County that help children who are taken into dependency cases oh, wow. and um, help the children to make sure that they get the services that they need and wow. anything else that they need and the support that they need. So I do that separate and aside as a volunteer position um, for it. And I, I really take pride in it. It's important to me. Yeah, to absolutely. Help kids. Yeah, that's a, it's super impactful, especially because, you know, you, you help traject, you know, a young life in a positive direction and that's very uh you know that's what life's about it's, yeah, it's not absolutely. all about everything else and you're a lawyer that's sick too you know <laughs> <laughs> how was becoming a lawyer was that a very uh, tedious activity i heard it's very hard so well, a lot uh, of book work <laughs> yeah it yeah. is a lot of book work that's a lot of reading and writing but um i did an accelerated program in in michigan through their law school program i was went to cooley law school i did my law degree in two years cool so, wow um, that's very impressive yeah and i'm also licensed not only in arizona but also new york wow yeah. new york did you grow up out there or were you from here originally or where did you grow up at i'm from canada really <laughs> all over the place <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's cool so you got do you got one of those maps that you put little pins in for everywhere you've been oh i i am one of those people i love to travel i've traveled all over the world and Thank yeah God. definitely have one of those things where you scratch off you know cool maps where you've been yeah i got get scratch offers too yeah. get a sticker from every state you've been in yeah, yeah. A yeah. magnet a fridge magnet from every place you've my, been my scratchers usually call cost me five dollars so. <laughs> <laughs> i'm still getting it too you know yeah. that's for me to travel it's like come on this time i'm gonna travel the world <laughs> can we talk about the steak challenge that you have also sure. oh, yeah on? yeah let's talk about that so in addition uh aside from the 70 teams that are signed up to compete in the kansas city barbecue sanctioned portion we do have a steak competition it's um sponsored by the Steak Cook-Off Association. We have 50 people competing, separate and aside from that, competing wow. in that event. Um, the anybody, payout. yeah, the payout. Jesus the payout like, so it's a $3,000 payout, uh, 10 place um, spots for the payout, wow. which is a little bit different from what other state competitions do. Um, we really wanted to make this worthwhile for people to participate. And I think having a higher pot and more payouts actually right. helps with that. Um, anybody can enter. 
you don't have to be affiliated with the state cook-off association mm -hmm. um if if you want to enter you can definitely enter and you can cook it any way you, you want can you cook a steak i can yeah <laughs> you yep. can also eat one I'll do a, I'll oh, do we a, know we can eat i'll one. do a <laughs> pepper crusted with cognac sauce how about that <laughs> okay <I'll, laughs> next year you're in. <laughs> if it makes it to the you know competition so the state cook-off association this is something new that starbridge started a couple years ago and 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 people you know you don't really cook steaks at the kansas city saying portion of these types of a barbecue events so you know having the steak option is is a nice little thing for people to do and some people just compete in the steak option we have a lot of people who are teams competing in the Kansas City barbecue sanction portion and we have a lot of teams participating in the steak competition that is just steak Wow. doing that and they're coming from all over the country as well dang so you have a crowd of people coming to compete within the barbecue portion of things and then another crowd of people coming in to compete with the steak portion of things yeah and then wow. another set of kids competing in their <laughs> that portion of things wow and then we, of course some of the teams are competing starting on friday night in the optional well, then categories. you have a bunch of separate little things like appetizers this, appetizers that. desserts sausage cook's choice it's winner take all cool so it's not not really a fundraiser for us but we really want to give like I said we really want to give the teams an opportunity to win money and and win prizes cornhole and tournament there is Ooh, a cornhole tournament don't forget about that yep cornhole tournament thing. on Friday and Saturday two different tournaments $25 to enter and there's a prize for that as and well there's a prize for so that. everybody's 50, winning 50% <laughs> of whatever we Perfect. win or collect is going to be given to the overall winner so it's two tournaments one on Friday one on Saturday and that starts at 6 p.m. you said this starts as bags start flying at 6 so. and then you guys are um also with the Aquarius on like rooms and you guys all have yeah. to accommodate your your out-of-state people huh absolutely um, we do have rooms available at a, a reduced rate from the Aquarius who's been really great and they're also one of our major sponsors along wow. with the city of Bullhead City Culver's um, we have Mojave Valley Daily News cool. um, dot foods who's donating the steaks for the steak competition that's a lot of steaks. and that's ribs you said right and they are also donating ribs wow. for our public sampling they have donated over 150 racks of ribs for the public sampling. A lot of racks. That's a lot of racks yeah, of ribs to be cooked by the teams. But, you know, having the steaks donated, uh, you need at least over 110 steaks for just the competition. Wow. So um, they, they've been so awesome in helping us out with that. What kind of steak is it? Like All kinds, right? So, no, it's oh, a it specific isn't? kind of steak. It's, um, it's a boneless ribeye, and it has to be one and a quarter inch thick. Oh, wow. So it has that's to a nice be steak. cut. That's a perfect specifically for wow. the event and the, the, how they choose it is it's it's mind-boggling so um, if you go to Rotary Park right now there's this giant tent like there's two tents up there but there's one giant one and all the teams who are competing go in and all the stakes are laid out and they get to go and choose two stakes that they want really so like it's very very serious like with 110 stakes oh, so out. that's the <laughs> early bird gets the worm scenario so i know yeah so it's like a lottery so they wow. do a lottery style and it, it's just amazing to watch absolutely that's so amazing. awesome very cool it's we only started doing the state competition a year ago so this is only the second time that okay. we've actually done it god so this thing is going to continue spreading like wildfire i hope so <laughs> where do you see it in like three or four or five years i mean what do you see or anything that you would want to foreshadow here so if things if things didn't happen the way they did with covid and some of the concerns that we had with covid and, and getting enough judges for the event because normally i do have so many judges for this event um we had a lot of teams sign up we had close to 85 teams signed up wow. for the event and then always something happens you know and a, a lot of times it was just that we tested positive for covid and and so we're not going to come down which is fine right you know we get it um but in the interim even when i capped it at 70 um we had some teams drop off and then i other teams contact me um through Instagram and say, hey, do you have any spaces left? And I said, yeah, I have a team that dropped off and I kind of just substituted right. them in. So that's yeah. cool. So we tried to accommodate everybody who wanted to compete. So is it just you that's 
hosting and coordinating this whole event no. from the beginning to end, or you just have a She's team of people? She's just the main people? one. <laughs> gotcha. So I'm I'm the one that people recognize. I wear a hat that says Boss Lady on it. Yep. So it was given it's to official. me. official. <laughs> the Kansas City Barbecue Society reps. It's but cool. our Rotary Club, the Rotary Club of Bullhead City, is the one that really runs this event. Right on. And I have a committee. And um, this is one of our major fundraisers along with our Borough Barbecue um, as well. That happens in May. Um, so we just wanted to add something else um, because all of this money that we collect for this event um, doesn't come to us. It goes right back into our community. It goes into right Rotary on. Park and the continued development of Rotary Park. We make donations to different organizations like CASA. We make donations to the Catholic Charities Home Shelter. We give away dictionaries to every single grade three student all across the county. So, Thank God. you know, we and we also do a lot of scholarships to our high school students as well and we send students to what is called RILA which is a leadership camp every year because we want them to have as much leadership skills as possible and we want to give back to the community wow. so you know I think one of the things that makes this particular competition popular is that every team knows that every dollar that they spend we're not promoters we're not we're not profiting right. off of it it's to put back into our local right. community and make the community better well on behalf of uh being a community member i thank you for being so you know such a positive you know member and just influence towards our community i mean really if because i've seen this town grow you know I'm, i grew up here 25 years of my life and uh i've seen it I've seen the parks grow. I've seen the skate park grow. I mean, I've seen us have grass where mm -hmm. we didn't have grass. And uh, so if it weren't for, you know, functioning members like yourself and, and the clubs and stuff, I don't think that the town would be growing the way it is, you know. Um, those center medians, I don't think you have anything to do with, but, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <just kidding. laughs> One thing I wanted to point out was uh, you mentioned the borough barbecue. A lot of people get cringe when you say that because they think, oh, my God, you're barbecuing up the burrows what the heck's going on here <laughs> that's it's not just, what you meant it's that's a, not no no it's oh, just i was okay with that i didn't see that <laughs> like no, oh, you're sick. i've never tried burrow there's burrows there but we're not barbecuing right okay. yeah they're it's, just there are they the judges sure. no they're just there as they for show out. to hang out they stuff. would eat it all though yeah hey hit one and you get a ten thousand dollar fine i'll that's tell right. you what <laughs> so, you can leave with the debt that's right. Don't hit one. No. That's cool. So is the borough barbecue a little bit more community oriented as opposed to everybody flying in or is it equally as big as this? Competitive like So it's not it's not an actual competition. It's an event that the Rotary Club has been put, put, putting on for over 70 years and wow. um it's it, it, there was a time where they were cooking burrow but oh really we don't do it now yeah now there's a fine but it's supposed to be like sort like of a, another beef. family fun event with music and and we cook the rotarians cook the barbecue okay. so we do pit barbecue in in these so in these do you have the advantage events. just being like a barbecue expertise you say, oh, look at the rings on my barbecue. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so in in Burrow barbecue is pulled pork and pulled beef, so oh, okay. it's a little bit different. But I've gotten I've gotten pretty pretty good at judging barbecue and taking a look at what it should and should not look like. I will tell you at the end of the event, though, I, I don't want to see another piece of barbecue for a while. No, so I would imagine. Yeah. For a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see a burrow ever in the barbecue. No. That's, That's super happen. cool. Well, I mean, especially like in a town where, uh, you know, cooking eggs on the floor is a tourist attraction. These kind of things are super cool. Yeah, you know, we have the advantage in here in Bullhead City and in Mojave County of having really great weather in January. Some of these teams are coming from places where they're snowed in and, right. you know, you don't have a competition until May. And so this, this really starts kicking things off. And we've seen a trend where more and more people are, are wanting to have competitions um, between January and May. So it's adding a little bit to it. I will say that there used to be one, a barbecue competition up in Lake Havasu City in January. And that stopped uh, a couple of years ago. And when that stopped, we saw an opportunity to bring it back and, and have it here in wow. the city. That's awesome. So the fun starts at 5 p.m., it says, on January 14th, which is Friday. Mm -hmm. um, does the public have a fee to 
to get in to try anything or like I know you're saying that there's samples of beer and right so beer the, samples yeah well there's not samples of beer there's beer also. <laughs> you can sample the beer you can <laughs> taste the beer you have like flights <laughs> you can sample it <laughs> um, on Friday uh, there's no there's no um, entry fee to come in we are selling tickets to the public it's two dollars a ticket Ooh, and cheap. it's specifically for those teams who are going to be cooking barbecue for the public so then so that they can sample it we have nine different teams from across the country who have uh, agreed to participate in that aspect of it and they will start serving food from five to nine or until they run out wow. <laughs> and then also uh, starting up at about 10 30 on saturday um, until about three or four um, by the time we hit three or four we're starting to go into our award ceremony so the event starts to wind down quite right a so what um temperature do you like your steak <laughs> i'm a well done kind of girl <laughs> i know i like my cow no dead no carne pain. asada I like the cow dead so you know, yeah that's fair not, you know not walking make off sure it's play, cooked well yeah. You know? yeah i have a few friends that don't like yeah. seeing any yeah. traces of blood or anything like that yeah, surprisingly though you know even with well done it's it's cooked a certain way so there may be a little tiny pink so i've gotten a little used to that heck so now, yeah now the open cat category that you're having with the sausage the appetizers and dessert that's something pretty cool too yeah so we do it a little bit different between friday and saturday friday is the appetizers and desserts and we actually bring the judges to the team's a cook site okay and so the judge the teams could wine and dine these judges all they want and it's kind of like just left up to the teams and we do take them to their cook sites for that particular portion the um the sausage and the cook's choice is after the sanction part so it's going to be on saturday and the teams bring in their samples into the judges tent on that day oh cool yeah so they go in and they hand it off it's there's this particular way to hand it off and really? you have a certain amount of time to get to the tent and you have to turn in at the time and wow you'll see teams, like, it's yeah. very competitive sounds like iron chef yeah <laughs> they they time like they actually time like depending on how far they are from the tent we could do they a reality time. tv show with this whole thing <laughs> yeah. you know? what would be the reason to time is there like because you have to hand it in at a particular time and if you miss that time then your turn in doesn't get counted wow. so everybody has to come in at a is it for time. people not cheating or just for everything to continue flowing or is there something it's it's to, because you have so many teams is to keep it flowing and to make sure that the judges can sample and and taste what they need to judge and right things like that yeah i, I no structure no <laughs> direction so yeah that makes sense that's super awesome it's super intense yeah it sounds you a see, lot more people intense. holding their little clamshells and you have to have sanctioned cam clamshells to submit it in and certain garnishes and they're so intense and they don't want to drop it and from one wow. point a to point b <laughs> you know so it's really 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 intense. is there a specific team that stands out to you every year like they've just consistently been winning or anything like that so it changes every year, but I'll tell you, like we have a team called You're Behind Barbecue, and uh -huh. they consistently win the steak comp. They they judged high on the steak comp, chicken, uh, appetizers, desserts. They they clean up. Wow. Um, You're gonna and have to go over and sample theirs. Absolutely. Yeah, heck yeah. And they're one of um, they're combined with another team this year. It's gonna be YSB Barbecue. They're gonna be serving to the public, so definitely check them out. Um, but the reason they stand out is because they participated in every single one of our competitions from day one. Also, Luton Booty, uh, Sterling, he's also our promoter and, and rep for the state competition. Is that he, Sterling Smith? Or? Yes, Sterling okay. Smith. Cool. He is part of a team called Luton Booty. And Luton Booty is pretty high up in the competition. He's comp competed across the world. He actually was a world champion and wow. won in Australia. And he has spices selling in Ace Hardware. Oh, wow. His own set of spices. Wow. Simply Marvelous comes in from California. And he's pretty much in charge of the California Barbecue Association. Uh, they have their own spices. Big Papa smokers if you go online to our our instagram page you'll see that we follow him he's really big in the competition he has his own youtube channel he's he's wow. sponsored by smithfield like and oh, wow. that's the thing a lot of these teams are coming in they're very hard some of them are very hardcore competitors sponsored it sounds like by, they're pretty renowned too yeah like they're this is what well they do. Known. That's awesome. Yeah, they're sponsored by different companies, different meat companies, Snake River, Green Mountain Grills. We have one team called Girls Can Grill. 
um, Christy. She's so awesome. Um, she does. She's coming in from Nevada, Heck and yeah. she does really well too. Um, what's nice is they they these teams like they have our backs with these competitions. Yeah. They promote our competition a lot. Heck yeah. You know, another interesting thing I find is that a lot of these people that come from out, out of state and different places end up buying property out here. They they, they end up loving it over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Tell yeah. us about... I bet. How does that play out? Do you get a lot of that type of uh, so scenario? The nice, nice thing with our sponsors, we have a lot of local sponsors, and one of the aspects that we provide with our sponsorship is we want these sponsors not just to donate money to our club. We want them to participate in the event. Right. And so we offer vending booth spons uh, spots for our sponsors, which they can use for themselves or donate to someone else. Okay, cool. And so we, uh, most of our vendors are local vendors, and we have real estate companies like U.S. Southwest, Best Results, Dorothy Tibbetts. Uh, they come out and they set up and they have information about the area there at the event. And I know for sure we have one cool. team, um, you know, who comes in from Oregon and they had a second home, a winter home that they bought in Lake Havasu City. Um, and so that's kind of what they do. Um, a lot of teams also, they will fly in to Phoenix or Las, Las Vegas and pick up their equipment because they store it all year oh, and then wee. drive down. Yeah. Makes it so they have everything them. out there. That's yeah. crazy. So this so very get storage intense. units and things like that. Oh, yeah. Come That's down. a big event. Yeah. No, Huge. I mean, for seven, eight years, you said, right? But technically last year was uh, off, year. off year. Off year for everybody. For everyone, yeah. Not just... That's awesome that you go about, you know, hosting these type of events, the borough barbecues, Labarama, um, and then you give yourself a four month break, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like they, then you're being, a, and then in Back the midst it. of all this, you're a lawyer and you're helping yeah. underprivileged, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank God for that. Thank you. Well, so well, let's go over if, if you go the if you go uh, segment with uh, where with, where it is. If you want to go ahead and tell people where it is, when, and sure. any other information you can give us. Sure. Um, so the event is this weekend. It's going to be Friday um, from 5 to 9, Saturday from 10 to 5. It's going to be at Rotary Park. It's going to be right on the soccer fields. You can't miss it. Um, you just look for that giant tent and just follow the smell the of smell, bark. Yeah, I was gonna follow say, the smell, yeah. All the way down Balboa, and you should be able to get there. Your feet should lift off the ground. <laughs> just follow just your float, scent. Yeah. Just float over there. Um, we do have teams starting to come in on Thursday at 3 o'clock, so they're going to start rolling, and you're going to see a lot of trucks, a lot of barbecue trucks starting to come in and load in on They got the on big old Thursday. barbecue I'm going to get on my one wheel and just the cruise. Yeah. They might be cooking on the road. You never know. <laughs> really? Um, if you want information for our event, you can go to www.slabarama.com. Everything is there. I'll put um, that in the chat for we people. We also have lots of things also going on. You can register for your cornhole tournament um, if you want to participate through our website. We like to make things really easy and electronic. We have a 50-50 raffle going on, too. You can buy your tickets online as well. Cool. You don't have to physically be there to win at the raffle, but the drawing's happening at 3 o'clock. So, yeah, definitely get in and, and buy your tickets. Um, we also have vendors. If vendors are interested in, in participating in our event, we're always looking for other food vendors, you know, because we like to have um, variety. variety. Cool. You can also sign up through our website. It's $75 for one day, $125 for two days. Um, and you could do that through our website. And any kids out there who still want to compete in our kids' queue, you can definitely sign up. If you need a grill, we even have grills available for you to rent. Very cool. So, well, it's uh, up until 17, right? So there's even like a lot of like uh, high schoolers can go do absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. We have yeah. three different. Shane. Yeah, we have you know, three different competitor categories for it. So, okay, cool. You know, we have three different age groups competing. So absolutely. See how good they've taught their kids how to cook a steak, huh? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And the nice thing, too, is um, because this is a long weekend, um, a lot of the teams bring their kids with them. Yeah. And so we have something for them to do, too. So The bouncy houses yeah. and events and a cornhole tournament. Yeah. That sounds really fun. Yeah. I mean... And don't forget root beer floats for those kids Ooh, from dang. Culver's. Um, That's the have real deal. We pretzel up. bites from Culver's. I look forward to watching all the videos and stuff from my desk. At work. <laughs> All the live feeds. Yeah, at work. <laughs> right. That's awesome. Well, I mean, I don't know if you have anything else for us, Jeff, but I personally, I think it's super cool. You know, go visit the website. 
uh, go participate. You know, there's still time to sign up. Anyone, any kids that want to do the state comp, it's a state competition or just a barbecue competition? It's a barbecue competition. So they can make anything. Yeah. Wow. So we kind of just kind of give them an outline. All the information is on our website. If you want to judge and you're certified to judge, you can sign up through our website. Um, I'm, we're still accepting applications up until today for the state competition. So you can sign up for the state competition as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Which and one do I, you do? Which one do you participate in? I just, I, I'm the boss lady that runs around. <laughs> <laughs> so, Where's she at? Bloody Mary. Okay. Oh, check the Bloody Mary. Yeah, check the Bloody Mary <laughs> station for me. Check the beer uh, guard. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, super cool. You know, also, um, I do want to give a shout out to Tom Dahlman. He Heck does yeah. all of our trophies for us for the event. Oh, I wanted to touch on and, that. Uh, yeah, they uh, great trophies. Um, DJ Loki is going to be down there, so we yes. have great music yeah, for DJ. two days. DJ so, Loki, yeah, Ooh, shout out. <laughs> she's going to be down there. The trophies are handmade, right? Handmade wow. by Dr. Dahlman. And that's since the seventh, since the beginning. Since the beginning, we really wanted to make sure that our our teams have something cool to leave with. Wow. And so you know, they get these really cool handmade trophies for the overall winners. Um, Blue ribbon. Um, graphics has been working with us every year and they also get really cool trophies it's not yeah. just a certificate it's, a, it's, oh, medals. Gonna, it's a cool little trophy How about shirts do you guys make shirts for the event too so or? yeah we do have t-shirts and we give oh, it cool. to the team so we do have t-shirts available for this year it changes every year it changes different colors and is that for the general public as well yeah it's ten dollars oh, a t-shirt cool. so until we sell out that? so ten dollar t-shirt i might have nice. to go support. get one of those shirts yeah especially yeah. ten yeah, bucks you know chilling that's absolutely. cheap no that's extremely and even if you don't want to compete great. or anything, just come down and check it out. We're going to have yeah. – it's it's just a it, – Go it's walk, around. It. Support walk around. Support it. It's on the grass, you guys. Yeah. We have and competitions. It's not, it's not supposed to rain. So. No, and it's been – well, it's a little windy, but not in that area. Don't say the W word. It doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah. There's nothing like that that will <laughs> no, exist. That's right. This weekend is going to be so beautiful. Be we perfect. got competitions. We got age groups varying from five to adults. We got prizes. Desserts. Desserts. Beer. Really, really affordable shirts. Steaks. We got the Boss Lady. Boss we got Margarita <laughs> and Bloody Mary stands. What more do you want? Yeah, you guys. Go participate. You know, be involved in the community and uh, get your kids involved. You know, I mean, it sounds like a really fun opportunity for, you know, the, the younger crowd to uh, develop a culture and barbecue. So, shout out. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us and uh, for everything that you do. Really, it's truly awesome. Very impressive person, definitely. Thank so. you. Yeah, comes off. TV. So we'll see you guys all. The, see y'all on Friday out there. Yeah. Well, tomorrow they start coming in, so no, you'll see me out there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> if you come out early, you'll see. You me. Sure. I'll you'll show up with the Bloody around. Mary jug. <laughs> you'll for sure you. see. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Great. All right, guys. Enjoy your day. Have a safe and blessed weekend. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you.